somewhat interesting and it's kind of like some wildly most interesting fact is that it was my last summer as a high schooler. It gave me an opportunity to reflect on some of my fondest memories and moments in my life so far. And looking back on all these memories, I can feel the nostalgia kick in as I am left with a somewhat exciting yet frightening reality of growing up. I'm not a little six-year-old seventh grader getting two weeks off of school in order for some mysterious virus. I'm not a freshman entering into my first day of high school and excited to watch a Friday night football game from the student section. I'm not a 16 year old just learning to drive. Blaring music with the windows down and feeling as free as ever. get a chance to look back at my short term visits thus far. There's a saying that always pops into my head when I think back on choices I've made in the past. One that I heard from Mr. Hoffman, the wrestling coach. It's meant to apply in a sports setting. But I think it's much larger than just that. It goes, if you think the price for winning is high, just wait until you get the bill for progressing. Everybody's version of winning in life may be slightly different. some point or another. In the recent years, I'll be honest, I've had my fair share of regrets. My first big regret in life is not enjoying the small moments. Each day is filled with so many moments and potential memories that we let slip away because we choose to focus on the wrong things. There's a famous saying, and quote, by Eddie Murphy's character, The Bully Man, that sums up this idea. It goes like this. 75 years. That's how much time you get in your life. 75 years. That's 75 winters, 75 springtimes, 75 summers, and 75 autumns. And when you look at it like that, it's not a lot of time, is it? Don't waste them. Get your head out of the rat race and forget about the superficial things that preoccupy your existence. Get back to what's important now. I think that this message has all this time. two years, it's been one of the highlights of my day. Because for me, I got to share it with my dad. Coming to Hill was a big change for me, but also for my father. We both kind of embarked on this journey at the same time, and so subsequently we were able to experience it together. Now, as most of you know and can probably attest to, going to boarding school usually means less time seeing your parents. But for me, it's been the opposite. of the year, it was rare to see him on a regular basis. So, it's been a privilege to share all of these moments with him, and having the chance to see and talk with him every day has meant a lot to me these past two years. Now, it hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows, as I assure you of that. I've had enough of this terrible taste of music, thanks to the 80s, the occasional dad joke, a bunch of random trivia and a bunch of motivational stories that I really want to hear, which I'm sure you all have probably already heard. So yeah, maybe to some people, going to school felt exciting. 
person. But even if all of those bad moments were worth the memories I could make as a new normal, to me, it has been and always will be some of my fondest memories with my dad. I think that's kind of the point. It's all about what moments we choose to focus on. There are so many things that happen within a day that I think sometimes we need to stop and remember what brings us the laughs and the smiles. As I think back on memories I really remember, moments I really cherish, some of them are big moments, like birthdays or Christmases or major events in my life. They're the small ones. The late nights I stayed at my grandparents' and drank in bars long after I should have. Or labor and days helping my grandparents with their horses on the farm. Or even smaller moments, like during the school day, when I used to be able to pop into my mom's classroom in between periods just to see her or say hi. It was a moment like that that right my dad, whether she knew it or not, made all the difference just to be able to say hi. And to me, that's what life is. It's about living in the moment, enjoying all you can about everything and everyone around you. One day you'll look back and think of how fast everything went by. Don't let today be one of those. Stop and really appreciate the small things, the interactions, the relationships, the connections, the dumb things, the funny things, the things you see every day. Because one day you won't be able to. I said earlier, you should waste it. But it's also misleading. Because you don't just live once, you live every day. You therefore should enjoy and be grateful for every day you're still alive. Life is a journey filled with many learning experiences. I've had my fair share of successes, just as many embarrassing failures along that journey. Yet, from all these moments, I wouldn't say that it's my successes that have gotten me to where I am now. Rather, on the contrary, it's been my mistakes, my failures, and shortcomings. And that's okay. You are going to fail at some point. That I guarantee you. And when you do, you are going to be a better person for it. So don't be afraid to fail or take a chance that might lead to you failing. My first year at Hill, that's what happened to me. I was so worried about making a mistake or taking a risk that would end up with me failing. I never really took any chances. I kept to myself long after I should have. And I never really went out of my way to meet new people. By missing countless opportunities and could have enhanced my own experience, I made all the difference. Those times have now passed me, and I realize in hindsight that taking chances, even if you fail, will always be worth it. I'll give an example. In the spring of my fifth year, I tried out for the golf team, and unfortunately, I got cut. It happens. Life doesn't always go your way. And in that moment, I failed. But it was through that failure that I was able to find successes. Maybe not in golf, but in people. I was able to make connections and friendships that have helped enhance my golf experience. I met people like Constantine and Leland who I wouldn't have met otherwise if I didn't take that simple risk. I wish I had taken chances like this before the spring of my fifth form year. Because what I need to realize is that without failures, there are no successes. If you try something new and fail or make a mistake, who cares? So what if you get laughed at or embarrassed? If you live your life based on what others say, it will be no upright to you and me. So take a hold of your life that is yours to live. So why not try something new? Take some chances and fail along the way. Don't live your life full of regrets and wishes. Seize the opportunities that are standing right in front of you. Live your life to the fullest. Take some leaps of faith every once in a while. Travel down the wrong path now and again. And enjoy every moment of this journey you are granted. You do only live once, so don't waste it on meaningless trivial matters. Do something great with the time you're given. So, to come back to the saying from earlier, if you think the price for being is high, just wait for you to get the bill from a friend. For the first 18-ish years of my life, that bill became pretty expensive. For the years that follow, I hope it's a little cheaper. And I hope that you all will do the same. I ask that in the time that follows, you will try to enjoy the small moments you have treasured. And when an opportunity comes your way, 
try something new or quit school. You do it without hesitation. Because the only true failure is someone who refuses to try. So take some chances and go out on a limb and blow it tomorrow. Because the majority of my regrets are things that I have done that I wish I didn't. Or are things that I have never done that I wish I did. So take some time and enjoy the small but important parts of life. And most importantly, most importantly, live your life. And we'll just go along with the road. You'll never know what you could have been unless you're willing to take that chance and step out of your comfort zone. Life is scary. You'll be the first to admit it. There are a lot of things that frighten you. But just ask for greatest fear is our greatest joy. All it takes is one step in the right direction to get you there. It's not easy by any means. I'll admit it. But it doesn't start by sitting idly by and letting your regrets rule your future with what could have been. Life is precious, and yes, eventually you will come to an end. But isn't that what living is for? Isn't that what makes it so meaningful? That one day it'll be over, and you'll look back on what you have left behind. The fact that it ends means there's a beauty and freedom to be special in the time you are given. So take action now before it's too late, before your wishes become your 